Hey guys, so today I have an awesome toy that I get to play with. This is the Anthbot Robotic Lawn Mower. Now, I've never owned one of these before. I love to cut my own grass, but Anthbot went ahead and sent this out to us to test and to do a video review. So I'm excited to get this thing uh, set up because I wanna see how it does um, cutting the grass and you know being able to take care of that stuff without needing to come out and cut the front yard all the time. The grass here grows a little bit leggy sometimes and it requires almost weekly mowing so this is going to save me some time and save me some trouble coming out here when it's absolutely hot out here right now i'm in the shade but it gets pretty hot out here in texas and i want to be able to use this product to cut the grass whenever i seem fit now it does come with a couple things you have a docking station here the actual mower right here we have some uh boundary wire that we have to run around the yard so this thing doesn't get out of control and go outside of its own boundaries um, we have some pegs power supply some other things that come with it that i'll show as i get this set up the first thing i need to do though is find a spot for the docking station so i can run this boundary wire around our yard and i'll dive a little bit deeper into how i'm going to get this to go across certain areas because we have two sides of the yard that is separated by a driveway um, and i think i'm gonna be able to figure that out and i'll show you guys once i get that going Okay, so I would have loved to set this up in the backyard, but as you guys have seen some of our videos, we don't have much grass in the backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up in the front yard because this is where I have to cut the most. Um, the backyard is something that's gonna be fixed at a later point in time once we get the garden completely set up and laid out the way we want to. But for now, we're gonna set this up in the front because I wanted to cut the front yard consistently and we get more grass growing out here as we water more and more over time. Now, first thing I need to do is, like I said, set up this docking station. So I have it hidden back here behind this tree um, because I am going to leave it out for some time. Um, I don't think anybody's going to come and take it, but this will easily let me uh, take it inside if I need to and leave the docking station out here. And it's close to the wall and one of the fences where I do have a camera set up and no one can actually um, come back here without me knowing and setting off that camera. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this power supply so I know that it's going to reach where I need it to reach and then we'll set up the boundary wire. Okay, so I got my power supply plugged in. Um, it's running to the back here. It's not plugged in yet, it's plugged in back here. I won't plug it in to charge it until later, but it does come with a bunch of stakes. When I say a bunch of stakes, there's a bag full of these stakes. I don't know how many I didn't count, but it's plenty of stakes to tack this down and to tack down the boundary wire. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my boundary wire all the way around my yard. Now there are certain dimensions. It comes with a little ruler that tells you how far that boundary wire needs to be from the wall or the edge and that's so what we're gonna do is run that um, around the yard right now and then uh, when it comes to going over the driveway I'll show you guys how I'm doing that Okay, so by far the most tedious part about doing all this is running the boundary wire, especially when it's hot out here. Man, um, it's a lot of wire to run and to make sure that it's tacked all over the place, um, to make sure that it's secure and close to the ground. Um, that's probably the most tedious part. It took me probably about a good 45 minutes just to make sure it was measured out um, far enough away from the borders and ran all the way where I needed it to. So basically gonna cut enough here and expose a little bit of my wire. Obviously, make sure this is not plugged in. You don't want to get shocked or anything like that. Um, but we're going to expose some of this wire here, about a good centimeter or so. And then we're going to put that into the black connector. And then where we ran it all the way around, we're going to plug that into the red side here. Um, but we just want to expose this just a little bit to get it in there to make sure this is waterproof and, and tight. We want to make sure that none of this is exposed to the elements as well. All right, the last thing I had was uh, some screws that go into the ground and some nails that I put in there um, to hold the base down as close as possible to the ground. Next thing to do is to go ahead and plug it in, get the mower on the docking station so it charges and then download the app.
Okay, so as you can see, the Anthbot robot lawnmower has already done its thing. Um, it started cutting the yard, and I am very pleased with the results. I can tell you right now that, you know, with today's technology, sometimes we worry about whether it's going to do what it's supposed to do or if it's not going to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, but I assure you that this guy is going to do everything that it says it's going to do. I'm going to read some things here. First, I do want to address how I got this to the other side of the yard because what I did was I ran the boundary wire through the expansion in the driveway. Um, you gotta have at least 60 millimeters um, in distance so it has that gap to go through. Um, the only thing I would say is maybe they, sh they could integrate something on their little live map that you can omit some of the areas that you wanted to cut. That way it doesn't go through all that area that's all concrete trying to think that there's grass here and cutting. But overall, I mean, it, it, it did wonderfully, it did superb. So I wanna read through a couple of things real quick. Now the unboxing, I didn't show any unboxing, but everything that um, that I explained that came with it is what came with it. I'll throw up a picture here of everything that it comes with. Um, those little pins that it has to tack down the boundary wire, um, plenty of them. I think there's like 240 of them. So that's more than plenty to tack this wire down the way you need it to, so it doesn't create any type of tripping hazard or anything like that. I don't see any reason why it would be a tripping hazard. It's pretty close to the ground. Um, and it's it just, it it's, you can't even tell that it's there. I think once the grass starts to grow over, you're not even gonna see it at all. But um, to move further along on this, I did wanna talk about the technology in this thing. Now, this is the first CTOF technology. Um, it's the only perimeter mowing robot that realizes high efficiency, line by line, scanning and planting. Now, what does that say about this little robot lawnmower? Now, I know some of us like those lines in our, in our yards, basically in the grass. You like to see the lines. Um, some of the other robotic lawnmowers that I've seen, they kind of act like a Roomba, right? They bounce around um, from one place to another with no real pattern really to it. But this one has um, parallel, um, has perpendicular patterns. You can even do a cross cut. Um, so that's what I had to do and I had to do in a cross cut. So it goes through the whole yard um, up and down. And then once it's done doing that, it goes across it through the whole yard. So over time you'll get that nice pattern so that's something that i do like about this robotic lawnmower another thing too is three times more efficient than a regular mower uh, meaning uh everything that i just said about the cutting it cuts the way you would want it to cut rather than just bouncing all over the place another thing that i read in here is it has wire breakage detection now uh, meaning if the wire gets cut or there's anything that goes wrong with the wire, it'll let you know to give you a notification saying that the wire has been cut and you do are, you are provided with some, uh, some connectors so you can reconnect those wires in case you do have a break. Real life map. Now this is the cool part about this is you have a real life map that you can pull up. Once it does this boundary, you can track to see how much it's already cut. Now the one thing I, I think they can improve on is when it does a cross cut because once it does its first cut, the map's completely um, cleared out like if it's already been cut, but they should maybe add another color or something else to show that it's doing a cross cut and how much is left for that cross cut as well. So um, something that they can definitely work on, but I love that it has a real time progress and it shows you where it's at at all times. That way you know where your robot's at. Really, you shouldn't really leave it unattended, um, but it does take a while to cut. It's, it's not like it's gonna take all day, but I would say maybe an hour and a half to two hours maybe to cut your whole yard, depending on how big the yard is. Um, if it does run out of battery, and it doesn't really run out of battery too fast. I mean, it did a whole pass with one battery, um, and then it went back to charge, and the charging time is really not that long. It literally went back up to 90%. Um, I would say like within 15 to 20 minutes and that's all it needs is 90% to continue doing its cut. The other thing about that is pinpoint accuracy. It'll go back to where it actually stopped cutting. So that's another thing I was very impressed about. Like I said, the pinpoint accuracy, it ensures that there's no missed spots even when it's recharging. Like I said, it will come right back to the spot that it stopped cutting. So very impressed with it. I mean, I've seen it do a couple of things. It, it avoids the trees really, really nice. It does a nice cut. I mean, you're supposed to cut the grass before you do it. My grass wasn't too tall, so I didn't worry about cutting it, but it had no problems cutting what it needed to cut. Now the blades are very small blades, they're retractable, they move in and out. Um, and you can raise and lower with this app. You can raise and lower it um, to, I think it goes from one and a half inches to about two, almost three inches. I, I'm not quite sure on that, but it's all in millimeters. It's something they can also work on. It's changing the, the measurements on well. I think it's on, a, on a, almost like a metric system at the moment, um, but something they can update later with the app, do a firmware update. As I noticed when I did plug it in, I did a firmware update as well. So that was something that tells me that they can do some future updates to that. Now to get to my real world experience and my final thoughts on this, my final thoughts are I absolutely love it. I, I love that I can have this out here and cut the grass. 
um, basically on a schedule. The more you cut your grass, the more you're gonna promote some growth and you wanna keep it at a nice normal height. You don't want it to get too, too tall. So sometimes you let the grass grow a little bit too tall and then when you do that cut, that bottom um, layer of the grass looks kind of brownish and dirty. Now our grass is not the best grass right now because I have been working on getting it watered and fertilized. As you understand, we are here in Texas. So we do have some um, watering uh, um, drought conditions where we have some stages where you're allowed to water on certain days and certain days you're not. But we can mitigate that with the regular cutting and watering and some fertilization to get the grass looking nice. But with the cutting, I think it's gonna make the grass look overall nice. We'll keep down on some of the weeds that like to grow taller than the grass. But I mean, I I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm pretty excited. I love this guy. Um, it it it's, it's pretty awesome to come out here. I mean, I, I, I caught myself earlier. I'd spent like 20, 30 minutes just watching it go. And not to mention the amount of people that have asked me about this robot. I had uh, the neighbor from across the street come over and ask. I had some people walking by asking. I had my neighbor next door to me asking. Everybody's curious about this little guy, and they're very impressed with it, as, as am I, because I'm very impressed by the way it's cutting and the performance that it's done so far in the yard. Um, it's cut great. I have no complaints about it. Now, I still have to go around the edge with the weeder. That's something that I'm always going to do because I like my edges looking nice. This guy's going to cut just over the top of the grass. But to keep those edges, obviously you're gonna have to come out here and do the edging, which is not a big deal for me because it does, it, it, it's maybe 10 minutes to come out here and edge uh, rather than an hour cutting the grass and making sure that it's nice and clean. Um, so that's something uh, to look forward to coming out and doing um, the yard. Now, I can't make any excuses now and tell Angie, hey, I'm gonna go cut the grass and spend all day out here because this little guy's gonna do it for me. But again, very exciting piece of equipment to have in the yard i'm very excited about it now you can pick this guy up on amazon i put the links down below in the descriptions um the full price for this guy is 999 dollars. you can get it now for 499 on amazon i know it seems like a lot but some of these other robotic lawnmowers that you see out there you'll see some for upwards to three to four thousand dollars on the market now if you have a bigger yard obviously you might want to go with one of those but this guy will do a normal yard with no problems and I, I think if you have a big open space, uh, this guy will take care of it with no issues. It comes back and charges and it's a quick charge. It's nothing that takes forever. So that's something that, that was very impressive to me was that it charges really, really fast. One of the other things that I did forget to mention was that it's, it's really easy to clean. Um, it, it's, it's super easy to clean. All you do is turn this guy over on the side, spray it down with the water hose. It's waterproof. Um, it actually rained. Um, because of some of the hurricane weather that we have coming in and it did well it has a rain detection so it tells you uh, hey it's raining it's going to go back to your charge um, as long as you have everything plugged in the way it needs to go it's waterproof it's not going to create any issues uh, and it's something you worry about just unplug it um, but i didn't have any issues uh cleaning it as well i just got the water hose and did the jet spray cleaned it off really really nice and just set it back where it went all right guys so i have nothing else to really say about this robotic lawnmower other than i'm really really impressed um, if you guys have any questions about it um, please leave them down in the comments below if there's something that you want to know about it i can maybe reach out to them maybe some firmware up there updates on on what it can and can't do i thought it would be awesome to spread out some fertilizer you know i'm sure there's something out there that can do that but uh, if you have any questions about it just leave them down in the comments below we'll be glad to answer them and maybe reach out to them uh, with any uh, questions that i can't answer but that's going to do it like share subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video bye